Good morning my YouTube friends and family. It is a beautiful day here in Western Maryland and uh, I'm going to share with you guys what I did yesterday as far as removing uh, the bonding screw uh, from my uh, Blue Power uh, 6548. From what I've read and uh, what I understand on these inverters, be it the MPP, the uh, Blue Power, which I have, or the EG4 and other manufacturers of, of these similar inverters, they are all built at the same place to different manufacturer specifications. So, do your research. I am not an electrician. Uh, I'm not telling you to do this to your inverters. This is what I feel is best with my inverters with the limited knowledge that I have and the research that I have done. So, without further ado, let's roll the video. Now we are disconnecting the... Here, actually, Steve, you can just hold that right there. Um, so, on DYI Solar, the Solar DYI from... Uh, the old interwebs we got this uh, connection uh, whether or not to take the ground screw out uh, that's the biggie here so um, according to uh, my old buddy Gavin that screw is supposed to be up behind this uh, and we are going to remove that screw uh, of course uh, Gavin had his uh, inverter down off off of the wall, but uh, we're gonna got a magnetic screwdriver here And we're gonna try to take that screw out. Let's see if we can see it right there. It is so Let's see if we can get this right there. It's not gonna focus for us, but Right there she is That there is the infamous ground screw that uh, according to this diagram and I'll throw it up there uh, for you guys to check out it says we are to remove the grounding screw out of one of these inverters and remove the ground connection uh, into this uh, sub panel so let me uh, let me help Steve here before he drops my screw down is that in the there. magnetic one <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. Oh, okay. All right. So we got her out, and Steve didn't drop it down in there. So let's see. There we go. Grounding screw removed out of one of the inverters. Now we're going to put this bad boy back together okay. and uh, disconnect the. Uh, two ground wires uh, that we have going uh, into our solar panel here from the uh, from the inverters all right so this is what I downloaded offline and this is the setup we have uh, dual inverters with uh, grid split phase and uh, we are to uh, disable uh, the neutral ground bond in one of the inverters and the other inverter uh, is enabled um, but our two grounds that's going into our panel are uh, not connected uh, to the uh, electrical grounding conductors in the critical load box um, because we do have uh, of course in our main panel the main uh, uh, jumper is bonded there uh, neutral ground and we do have uh, our ground uh, into our uh, solar panel so uh, we're going to uh, uh, disconnect these uh, two grounds coming from each of the inverters. Uh, 
if I'm reading this wrong please let me know all right so to try to uh, clarify what we got going on here this is uh, my power in from the grid power in from the grid comes from my main panel downstairs which the ground neutral is bonded so this is power in so I have uh, line one line two coming in with a ground and this goes from my main panel power in to this unit so one for each so up in here you can see uh, line one line two AC input AC input on that side and that ground comes from my main panel and grounds this unit this line out ground is what we are going to this comes down comes out goes up in through here and uh, grounds to this uh, bus bar this is where we're going to remove the two uh, line out grounds or AC out from these inverters so AC out this is my main ground from my panel so the two uh, grounds that come from the AC out uh, we are going to uh, disconnect in this panel so if that's clear as mud I hope it uh, helps you out but again these are the two lines coming uh, from the main panel and this ground here comes from the main panel to the ACN. The AC. All right, so there we go. We got them disconnected. Uh, these are the two uh, grounds uh, from the inverters, and it's AC out grounds removed. This is uh, my main ground uh, from my panel downstairs. So we're good we're good we're going to uh, wrap this up close everything back up and uh, got to uh, torque down these uh, cable uh, connections here and uh, onto the bus bar and then we will uh, we'll be good we'll uh, connect the batteries back up and uh, power back up so today I got the screw removed out of this inverter here and I took the uh, ground from the AC out of each inverter going into this uh, I call it a solar panel I disconnected those so I have ground from the main panel downstairs up in to the AC in on each one of these inverters uh, ground from the main panel into line one uh, line two and the grounds and neutrals and then I have a main ground from the main panel up into this panel so I disconnected the grounds from the line out of each inverter uh, that goes into this box. I disconnected them today and removed the screw out of the one inverter. So I'll put up here on the screen uh, all that information. I think I said this earlier. I uh, downloaded a PDF from uh, Solar DYI online. I can put a link down in the description below, I guess, to. Uh, that website very helpful for them um, and I did a bunch of reading on that infamous uh, ground screw so that's what I got for you guys and uh, if you see anything please let me know um, a, a lot of this stuff I figured out uh, with the help of uh, two people um, Gavin Stone DYI uh, Homestead and 
Adam Delay at uh, uh, Going Off Grid. I appreciate you guys' help and all the uh, wonderful, wonderful insight and uh, work that you guys are doing uh, in solar to uh, help uh, dumb grunts like so myself. So there you go. That is how I tried to rectify this big uh, uh, neutral ground bond issue with these screws in the inverters. Uh, like I say, please uh, do your own research. I am not a solar guru. I am just a guy trying to uh, be more self-sufficient, uh, grow my own food, and my own business. So if you uh, enjoy the content, Please give me a thumbs up, uh, share, like, subscribe. Uh, subscribers, we are slowly creeping up. And uh, I thank all you uh, new subscribers and all the old subscribers, uh, all you guys and gals who have been uh, watching all this content. So, And until we meet again, my friends, always remember to smile because God loves you.